Hi friends. I'm here to give a little demo on the new, newish uh, cleanser. This is from the Countermatch Collection, which is all about bringing hydration and balance to the skin. So it's a Countermatch Refresh Foaming Cleanser, okay? First of all, I'm gonna explain. Um, it's not going to foam the way we're used to most foaming cleansers. We're used to having a whole lot of foam in our world. Bubbles, 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 suds, suds, suds galore. Most of the time that uh, sudsy satisfaction action is coming from a type of SLS. SLS, um, you're, not, you're probably not going to see it listed as SLS on an ingredient label. You're going to see it listed as sodium lauryl sulfate or some Der der derivative of that. Derivative? Am I using the right word? Some form of that, okay? So you might see sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium, I can't even think of other things, but something that is gonna break, be broken down into SLS, okay, is usually gonna fall into this category. If you're, if you see something similar and you're not sure, shoot me a message, I'll help you look it up, okay? Um, but the reason why you wanna steer clear of sodium lauryl sulfates is because it is a detergent level cleanser. It's very irritating to the skin. It's super stripping to the skin, and it's very irritating to our eyes. And you might be thinking, oh, I've used products that don't irritate, and they have SLS in it. Typically, there's going to be another chemical added, ingredient added, to suppress irritation, to suppress redness. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It means that it's tricking our senses into thinking it's not happening. The other thing that people will do, people, chemists, laboratories, will do is, instead of it being sodium lauryl sulfate, they've created a way in the lab to soften those effects, to make it more gentle. That will be sodium lauryl sulfate and, and um, Val, give me just a minute, um, sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a gentler form. It's less abrasive on our skin. It's less stripping on our skin, but the, chem the chemistry behind it turns it into a carcinogen. So it might be more gentle on our skin, but it's not more gentle on our body because now it is increasing our chances of getting cancer. So it's like, oh my gosh, we're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't, right? So Beauty Counter is never going to use any of those types of ingredients, right? So they're, they're getting their suds from other things. And really that sudsy action is put in for a psychological satisfaction. There's many other ways to get our skin clean. We just associate Ooh, sudsy, sudsy, sudsy with like scrubbing my skin super clean, right? It's more of a psychological satisfaction than actual performance, okay? Um, with this, a little goes a long way. Keep in, in mind, Beauty Counters products are all going to be very concentrated, okay? Because we don't have the fillers. We don't have the false, uh, <laughs> the ingredients that are adding the false satisfaction in there. So any ingredient in here is doing something, all right? And I keep, gosh, I'm messing with the lighting with this bright light. So how funny is that? <laughs> Um, so a little goes a long way. And if you want more foam, you're going to want to add more water to it as opposed to more product. Okay. So this is a cleanser that we do use on wet skin. So a lot of our cleansers are, um, to be used on dry skin, but, but this guy is a wet skin cleanser. All right. So we're going to get our skin a little bit wet, but I hope my thing doesn't fall into the sink. And then this might actually be a little bit much. I think I put a little bit too much in there. So when we first rub it, we're gonna be like, oh, well, it's not very sudsy. It kind of looks like some of the other creamy cleansers. But as we add water to it, we're gonna get some of those bubbles, all right? So what I would do is I'm putting it on, so I know I got like a nice smear of it all over the face, right, and all the mix of pennies. But then to get that suds, I'm gonna add just a little bit more water, and you're gonna scrub. And guess what? Ta-da! Look at all those bubbles I got now, all right? Scrubbing, 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 scrubbing bubble suds the action okay where if you're using like your cream cleansers or our milk cleansers we're not going to get that type of bubble so i do agree that the foam and again want more water want more suds add more water look at that all right and then we're going to go in there we're going to scrub 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 all right so now we see that suds the action we see that bubbles so you see I got my bubbles on my face. I think some people are like, where's the foam, right? Because we're used to like the foam pumps where it's like foam galore. That's not what this is about, okay? This is still gonna do this. The bubble says the satisfaction. 
without the bad stuff. Holy moly. So I'm going to finish rinsing my face. I don't want to keep you on the whole time. Hope that helped answer any questions. If you guys haven't tried it, it leaves your skin so soft, so smooth. Um, it's a really nice, <laughs> satisfying clean um, without the stripping. And for those, uh, if you haven't used a dry cleanser, I love our dry cleansers too. But for some people, they just won't. But this is going to be the closest to like your regular face wash, if you will. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye guys. Have a great day.